Okay, uh, what I'm going to share today is actually about how we can use the principles that people use in fairy tales to tell the stories of your brand. So this is what Einstein said, if you want children to be intelligent, read them fairy tales. And if you want them to be more intelligent, read them more fairy tales. So I really like this quote. And as a kid, I really, really love uh, reading fairy tales. There was one moment in my life when I was two years old, um, I grabbed a fairy tale book and I started reading. Actually, I'm not reading, but I memorized the story. So my parents thought, wow, my kid could read in two years old. Um, so actually, I think we all love stories and we all love good stories. That's why in a cocktail party, you can see um, people circling around someone who tell good stories. You can see someone sitting at the back and not doing anything. At the moment, you see um, a large circle circling people who tell the best stories in the cocktail party and they're the center of attention at the party. So social media is a bit like that as a company. You want to be that person in the center. Companies, because Indonesia hopefully has a low penetration for the internet, but we have 200 million people in Indonesia, so the number is big. And companies are starting to fall into Twitter and Facebook and blogs and everything and try to engage people through social media. The challenge here is to find who's the brand or the companies who can tell their stories in the most interesting and amusing way in social media. So uh, in 1913 actually, Laura Aprini made a case study on uh, a study of fairy tales. So she's trying to learn uh, more about why fairy tales stay. So how can we apply the principles of fairy tales into communicating when it comes to brands? And um, as a company, we need to know the familiar things for our audience. We need to think local. That's why um, we need to think very, very specific about the target audience that we like to reach. About that, so we love surprises. We love to get something that we don't expect. It's about design. When you're organizing a social media campaign, don't forget about the design, how you'd like to package it, because the more interesting it is, the more it will relate to your audience. So, for instance, if we have a problem, uh, we need to frame it into a more positive message. Instead of stating the difficulties, we ask people to join and to imagine what would it be if all can be succeed and if we can achieve something. So we need to bring the customers into that perspectives. There's the wonder and mystery magic. For instance, you go into um, a, a hunt for you want to launch a product and then you ask people to hunt for the product you put clues here and there and everyone needs to search for it follow your tweet and follow all the clues there and the mystery and the magic will get people to be involved with it and then adventure adventure that's why um, like amazing race is becoming big because there's a sense of adventure in it people can see the journey and so make sure that when we're working on our social media campaign, we also put in mind how people can act toward that, how can people be interactive with us. And if you go to YouTube, you can see a lot of animal videos being shared, especially like cute animals and all. So the key here is to make things simple because we also have no time to grasp more difficult um, concepts, so we need to keep it simple. Used like in the fairy tales, if you read the fairy tales, they always use short sentences, they always use a very, very casual um, language, they don't use jargons, and that's also how social media campaigns should be. It should be a so what I think must have is a power to appeal to the emotion books. So you got to find the best way of telling the stories as well. Is it a very emotional story that you want to tell it in a very melancholic and romantic way to touch people's emotions? Or is it going to be really fun, you want people to share the jokes? In the end, people have to be able to relate to that. They need to know if I'm doing this, what's in it for me? So a good story depends upon characters. Um, in fairy tales, you have strong characters. Brands must have their strong characters. Setting is important, that's why we need to go local. Um, and then, so when you organize a social media campaign, you need to know how it begins and how it will end. Um, I want to tell the story, is it to educate people? Is it just to entertain them? Is it to make them buy something? You've got to know um, the history, you've got to know the values, you've got to know the best things about your company and everything. Um, that's why in social media, I think it couldn't be uh, separated from other parts of the business. All business units, more or less, um, you should know what they're doing, which, what is it that you'd like to say. 
and the story should be centered around that over again. So either your social media campaign can create conversation or it could create an instinct of inquiry. People would like to know more. It refers to co-creation, where as a brand you can actually ask your customers to build something together with you. So you evoke the artistic expression in people. If you have a fashion blog, then sometimes uh, people can, can dress someone in your blog and mix matching the fashion sense there. So that's the